Atoms come in flavors called elements. There are 118 elements in the periodic table. And what they have in common is they have three pieces of information. They have a symbol X. They have two numbers, A and Z. The numbers can be inverted, Z and A, um, depending on the periodic table you have available to you. You always know which type you have because A is typically greater than Z. So whichever is the larger of the two numbers for each element, that's going to be the A number. A is atomic mass. And this is the essentially the mass of the nucleus. Um, we'll see what the nucleus is in a second and who discovered it. Essentially, this is the mass of the atom. practical purposes. Z is the atomic number. And the atomic number is a number of protons. Okay. Now, if the atom is neutral. So atoms can have a charge. We'll look at charges later. But if we have a neutral atom, then Z is also equal to the number of electrons. So I'm going to highlight some key words here. We've got electrons and we've got protons so far. These are two fundamental subatomic particles that we need to account for. There's one other subatomic particle that we haven't said yet, that's the neutron, and we can see here that A minus Z is, well, A is the mass of the nucleus. The nucleus um, is equal to proton plus neutron. So this is inside what's called the nucleus, or this constitutes the nucleus. There's no inside the nucleus. You're either part of the nucleus or not. There's no case. So pro protons and neutrons are the nucleus. Um, so that's A minus Z, which we said is proton, well, proton minus proton, the protons cancel, and we can see that A minus Z is the neutrons. So there are 118 elements total. Elements are types of atom. So atom is a more generic term than element. Again, each element has a symbol X and two numbers that can either be written with the A up top and the Z down below, or vice versa. You can orient yourself because A is always greater than Z. Here's a definition of what A and Z mean. And from these two numbers, A and Z, we can identify the numbers of protons, electrons, and neutrons for any element. In the next short video I will show you how to count protons, electrons and neutrons for any given element.